as godly as I can say, <clears throat> and hopefully in the most transient way. Um, there are times that I find we, as humanity, find ourselves like drops of rain that knew they came from the clouds and once they emerge they will go back even though we have this idea there have been clouds who have moved the rains that were supposed to be on our land to other lands it's 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 simply uh, a concept of why are we alive? Once you really look, you you notice that it's not about the volume, it's not about um, what you're seeing, it's not about what you're talking about. It is the communication and the energy that is free and lucid in the most efficient and capable way. You need to get out of your own way. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by thinking you've shot yourself in the foot. <sighs> Voices are needed now, I find, in our lives, in our, in our world. And voices don't have to be a voice that is well known. It just has to be a voice that speaks as much as the trees do. It, it is as much as everything else is. When your voice turns into the wind or you really feel that the music is always playing and you're part of it, in your existential process that is now Many roads will merge. You will, you will find your path in the eyes of many. You will see that one act of compassion was the reason you were alive to help another human being excel to the next phase of their own accelerated expansion. The universe expands. We do too. <laughs> and even though in our financial systems and governments we do think about inflation, but in an expanding universe, there's never a limitation that needs to be there. Your true home is here as much as you see it with you in both this and it and existence from a specific point of existence to a very omnipresent existence. You need to let yourself not evolve by getting new clothes and computers and gadgets or other um, images to manifest objectively for yourself. You, you need to see that it's all here. You are here, your home. Now, do you want to really know this sense of home through existence? Or do you want to travel into reality, realities created by media, books, and other abstract processes to really understand where you are? Regardless of the path, we are all. profoundly present in many spaces and in many spaces where the times are different as well it's um our vision can carry us if we trust it our dreams can explain why we're dreaming there are many ways in which knowledge is present knowing is present and let me tell you if you think is 
It's stupid to be compassionate. It's stupid to be love. It's stupid to be embarrassing. Let me tell you, once you're compassionate, once you are looking really beautifully in life, abundance is present and it amplifies in its manifestation to you. To experience yourself fully is the goal of a fulfilled life. You're always attending. Simply really see and discover your dances. Feel your dances, but also question why you're dancing. Always elevate towards the unknown sky that holds everything. If you're hearing this message, I feel I need to say this message. That if you're alive and present within this moment and hearing these sounds and really looking at what is here, you will know that you are giving the values to your ideas and that the healing begins only when the unhealthy have stepped out of their own demise. When you work with existence, you cannot be that selfish to create a certain value of yourself greater than everything. If you were existence, literally existence, if however way you'd like to interpret my tonality, when if you really look at what existence has done, you're only a bit of it. So therefore that you will always feel inhibited. It feels it is not there. But sometimes it is your conception that creates the reality that is really solidified in your experience. I want you to tell I want to tell you that if you believe that you put your attention on something and you can get something, you can get somewhere, you can obtain a certain result. Know that if in your world you're so certain of certain facts, ideas, words to be truth. Always know that when there is no one to convince, you will always step into the unknown. And that unknown is more notably present through the understanding of nature. Nature is your unknown. You were born to literally step outside and go and do what it is that you will feel is your purpose. You always feel it first and then you know you want to do it. You know it's your purpose. You know that's why you're here. That's what manifests what you can do. And the moment is always your greatest gift. Never leave it unwrapped. A thirst of mankind begins in his mind. However, as some beginnings end, what is here is really truly seen to be much more expansive than the limitations of a limited eye, self-conceived. Do not judge the bow and the arrow for the target they're making. Reveal to yourself the greatest revelation that you are the highest expression of your existence. And be comfortable with yourself in all levels of your own experience. Whether you feel you're collectively experiencing something or you're individually feeling or experiencing something. Um, let your sight expand in its own natural exploration. We might think we have explorers here, but before them, life was the explorer. Life was changing, rediscovering itself, consciousness, individuality, before. Life is the explorer, and it is exploring through your eyes. Find the reality of this for yourself. And there literally can't be any demise. Ask yourself right now if you feel you're unfree and ask yourself what would make you free. And when the answer to that comes, 
What does that make you feel like? Is freedom to have so much attention and comfort at a very fixed economic state or economic level of uh, abundance? Or is freedom really to open your eyes from the eyes of every other being to every other moment, to be within all moments, literally, to be within yourself and all that can be gone within. Your introduction is always the birth that is made to die. And therefore, to work with infinite change is a sense of working that is transcendent beyond the objectivity or subjectivity or imagery of that presence. So we need to understand that regardless of how deep we think about things, how we contemplate our feelings and our own elevation is up to our sense of comfort and trust. Align yourself. Wake up every morning knowing that you know where to go. Wake up and work with a higher sense of energetic presence for yourself here on this plane and allow the thoughts of abundance and joy and knowing and comfort and love and presence to really be perceived throughout your day. Your elevation always begins with you. You have to make a decision. You have to um, turn your eyes the other way. You have to really feel that the wall is only a wall since there is a you to define a wall and transcend all philosophies into a very knowing state of being however a state of being that is so open and excited to explore individuality therefore the awareness of the collectivity and the beauty in how the in individuality is flowing from the collectivity that is a very uh, beautiful notion and always feel your path to be the most joyous and healthiest the th you, the unhealthy is your your explanation of your own holographic physical projection it is be healthy be happy be calm be aware be present literally feel what's here look around yourself look everywhere you know feel what is here and understand and in a sense i want to say really look at the rabbit hole that are your questions which eventually lead to the serenity that is here always I would also like to bring another viewpoint, viewpoint that, for example, someone thinks that if they do something, they will only reach a certain view. I, I want to just suggest that regardless of how selfish or selfless you are, it is your simulation how you experience the transition of your individual consideration of your own existence to, in a sense, your ego. Um, how comfortable are you if literally life changed right now? Everything you knew changed. And you will realize that the, while it's in the process of changing, you transition between a very fear, f fear, afraid individuality that doesn't want to confront death. But once you pass, once your energies are moving or amplifying, um, they then become the bridge up.
It is funny to even think of our existence, perhaps another metaphor, as bubbles under a pot, or not under a pot, but at the bottom of a pot, about to boil and come up before before that they've reached the temperature boiling. When their boiling point, visualize those bubbles coming up. Those bubbles in that pan filled with water are simply randomly and spontaneously opened up to then become a bubble on the surface. Therefore, some people suddenly go into really speedy processes and transitions, such as young people dying, for example, or someone who's just born and suddenly they transition. At, at times I find that kind of um, alignment, synchronicity, and presentation to be that there is an intelligence behind a being who really measures what it wants to see and go back. It's as if uh, our experience of this plane on, on Earth is a utilization of a uh, limited aspect of us that always knew that it, it was its own experiment or, or simulation or explore, exploration of a new set of eyes, different set of eyes. Therefore, we are always present alongside the greatest opening of a view of our own self that we can have. We're right there beside it. We're always beside our success, our abundance, and everything. We're always there. It is simply as if for a second our attention has gone on lack, and that's what's been stored. That's literally what you've been attracting. You see, if you woke up every day and you became a gentler person, you literally saw how you could do things slower throughout your day work at a different speed, your values will change. A person who is always uh, caught up um, or be, feels that they're behind will have will feel like they're always behind in life and um, become imbalanced. You know, we don't, we don't need imbalance in the minds of men, especially young people. Uh, everybody needs to be balanced. And the way you naturally balance something um, is... By nature, naturally, existence is balancing itself. Once you rid in yourself of the simulated uh, projection of what it is that is your trouble and your struggle, you then open to the presence within the presence that was always in the present. It was always here. Your greatest abundance in regards to finances or even your intellect or even your sense of en enlightenment and transcendence. Enlightenment is all it's always here. It's with you. It is enlightenment is really to ask who is looking at this problem? Who is looking at this kind of life? And once you ask who is looking, you see that your eyes are much deeper than what your face and voice and ideas and birth certificate could ever say.